Hi, my name is Rachel. Um, I am currently in the intern track um, for a single subject, mathematics. Um, I am getting my master's as well, so I'm in like the dual program. Um, I currently teach at a charter high school in the Lake Elsinore area, but we are virtual. Um, but we work with high schoolers, but we work with at risk youth so we can work with kids from like 14 to 23 um age range and just kind of all sorts of kids that you know it's kind of an independent study-based charter school um so my experience with teaching i haven't quite hit officially a year yet so it's been um almost about six or so months that i've been like teaching teaching um, officially, but I have been through a teaching program in my undergrad back in Alabama, and then now I'm in this program as well. So I kind of have learned a lot and kind of been in the classroom a lot um, more than just a couple months. So I do have that experience. My experience with EEL and teaching EEL learners, um, English language learners, is pretty not a lot <laughs> um, because. I haven't had any EL learners as my actual students that I've worked with, but I have learned about, you know, different differentiation strategies and like supports and stuff like that. Because when I did start out my job, I worked with um, SPED as well. So I did have, I actually did have a couple EL learners and just, um, but not much experience with them. But I have learned about different ways to, you know, allow them to learn in the way that they need to learn um, for the best like um, outcome in their learning experience. My experience with um, with learning a second language, I would say I took middle school Spanish from like seventh grade all the way through high school. So I mean, I've taken years of Spanish and even in college some, but I'm not fluent in it. My mom is actually fluent in Spanish, so that's really nice to have that around, um, her around. And so I would say I understand it more than I can speak it, but uh, which is nice because I have been able to, you know, understand or try to get what some people are trying to say in Spanish when others can't because of that experience that I have had. So it is nice to have that. Um, but as learning it and speaking it, Mm, I don't really have a whole lot of experience, but I do have, you know, my family and aunts and uncles as well, and my cousins that speak Spanish as well, so that's pretty much the experience I have been around and been in when it comes to Spanish. Um, other languages, not so much, but yeah, that's pretty much my experience with all of those um, situations.